Operations at airports and airstrips came to a standstill at the wee hours of Wednesday morning after employees affiliated to the Kenya Aviation Workers Union made good their threats to down their tools. By looking at the situation, and you know the very unfortunate thing is that there's a court order which was given at the strike notice, the seven-day strike notice. You write a letter on 27 February, but you deliver on the expiry date. It's not in good faith. In a strike notice to the Ministry of Labor, the union highlighted various grievances among the mismanagement, racism, outsourcing and cheap labor. The nature of the dispute, there are more than three court cases on this same matter. There is a matter at the Employment and Labor Relations Court, there is a matter at the High Court, there is a matter that is the Constitutional Court for certain constitutional interpretation. And all those matters were presented before those courts by the union officials. And their respective orders were the same. The Labour CS urged the striking workers to call off the strike and resume work as ordered by the courts. Conciliation Committee, a uh, panel of three, very respectable, professional in the industrial relations sector. And I have full confidence that they are going to adjudicate the matter with the necessary impartiality. Following the impasse that resulted in the cancellation of flights and running battles at the air transport facilities, the Ministry of Labor has set up a conciliation committee. We want to give both parties an opportunity and we invited them to now subject themselves to the conciliation process, which is going to start immediately. The Sharif-led committee is expected to resolve grievances raised by parties and file a report within the next 30 days. Regina Manyara-Gital reporting for Channel 1 News.